everybody, it's Amy from Winterwood Studio and welcome to this week's video. It's another mishmash art chat kind of video. Um, as you saw from the title, I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to title it yet, but it does, it is going to have to say something about big changes coming or I'm changing things or things are changing because uh, things are changing and we're going to talk about um, what, why everything is changing and how it's changing and what prompted it. We're also going to be talking about Paint-tober 2024, except I'm not calling it Paint-tober this year. It's going to be Art-tober 2024 and I am putting together a challenge. It is coming, so we need to get ready for it. Um, and we'll be talking about that and I figured we could just have a nice chat about, uh, life and, uh, what to do when things happen that are out of your control <laughs> and um, how to get through some of the tough times. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing for arty stuff in this video while I'm chatting. Uh, I have a list of things I'd like to do this week. I don't know which of them I'm going to get to um, or even any of them. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I have some markers that I wanted to swatch. Uh, I've been playing with uh, like some texture with acrylic paints and uh, stencils and layering and uh, paint markers, which I think I might throw in here. Um, I'm hoping to do some uh, resin earrings with the flowers I pressed, I think, this week. Um, if anything is different, I'll either refilm the beginning or you'll have seen stuff popping up around me here if it changed not too much, <laughs> right? I didn't have to refilm the beginning, but you never know. <laughs> so grab yourself something cool to drink if it is hot where you are or cozy if it is starting to get chilly and it is here. So I'm going to say chilly and come on in and we'll have a nice little chat. Okay, so we're jumping right in with a voiceover today. This was just a really weird week and I don't have any finished art pieces to show you. This piece I'm working on right now will be coming up in a video shortly, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Um, I started it outside trying to do a really loose, um, sort of impressionistic type painting, uh, and then I am working on finishing it up in the studio with some cool textures and stuff. But anyway, first thing I really wanted to talk about today is Arttober. You probably saw that little a uh, snippet of a purple image that said it's coming. It's coming. Um, if you are currently a Patreon, it will go up for Sketchbook Club tier and up on September 1st, so you can start um, getting ready for it and sketching and getting your materials. For everybody else, it'll go up on Instagram on September 8th. I, here I am cleaning up my digital area. Uh, I had put away my big XP pen tablet when uh, I had surgery on my shoulder because I knew I wouldn't be able to do Photoshop because it requires uh, two hands and that was really hard for me. Um, I'm better enough now that I wanted to take it back out. I have not mastered Photoshop yet. I have a uh, working knowledge of it, but I have not mastered it the way I have Procreate. So that's something that I have wanted to work on and get better at. But now let's go back to Arttober. And also the big changes because they are linked. So you heard me say that the Patreons will have access to Artober starting September 1st. One of my big changes is that I am pausing Patreon for the month of September. Um, the reason I'm doing that is I have some unknown health things that are going on right now. I thought I would have answers by now and I don't. So um, just in case things go sideways for September and also because I'm feeling really overwhelmed, um, I'm going to pause Patreon for September. However, if you are already signed up as a Sketchbook Club member or higher, you will still get the, uh, Arttober prompts on September 1st. Once I pause it, uh, the evening of August 31st, you can no longer sign up for Sketchbook Club or switch tiers. So if you are interested in getting that prompt list a week ahead of everybody else, make sure you're in the right tier as of like lunchtime on the 31st, which I think is, is it, it's today, <laughs> uh, the day that this is supposed to go up. Okay, well, just, I'll try to hold off until like nine at night uh, on the 31st uh, central time. <laughs> So hopefully that gives people enough time. But otherwise, like I said, it will go up on Instagram on September 8th and everybody can take part and it's going to be all art mediums. 
And in fact, I'm just going to pop in right here the photo again so you can read it and see all the info that you need to have. I will also put this, uh, not this, the but the prompt list up on the um, YouTube community post tab so you will be able to see it there if you don't have an Instagram account. And this is just no stress. If you can only do one prompt a week, that's fine. If you only do one prompt in the whole month, that's fine. This is just supposed to be a fun way to encourage you to create more art. And now I'll be back in a Bitty. Do you think it was a hummingbird nest? Okay, so hopefully the noise isn't too loud. Uh, the air conditioner is running. I just realized I should have been filming this. I'm just messing around today. I had this little container of Liquitex Basics up here and some stencils and I had this, um, this was paint, acrylic paint. Ooh, that's not quite dry yet. Acrylic paint I had left over after I did that loose boat painting and I just put it on here so I wouldn't waste it. And now I'm just messing around. So I just had this pink Posca out mostly because I was labeling my sketchbooks with it and I'm just messing around. I'm playing with texture and patterns. Um, I'm thinking about incorporating something like this in a project, like a mixed media project. And I just needed some stress relief today. So I'm literally just playing playtime <laughs> artist playtime I guess and I just got stuck on some of the ridges of the paint there and I'm not gonna worry about it I think I mentioned just a second ago that this was stress relief I'm not gonna lie 2024 has been one of the hardest years I've ever had um it's been a hard one I am starting to feel like Debbie Downer because I feel like all I talk about is the hard stuff but this year has been like one thing after another abnormally hard stuff. I'd say I couldn't wait for 2025 to start, but who knows if it's going to be any better. Um, anyway, that was a large part of my decision for pausing Patreon for September. I'm hoping it's just going to be one month, but I really don't know at this point. Um, hopefully everybody sticks with me. I don't really know where I'm going with things. So I grabbed my um, iridescent inks. I have not tried these yet. I was going to put them in a palette so they don't run everywhere, but I couldn't find one. So I want to see if these stencil. Ooh, they're pretty. So I'm going to try it and see what happens. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. What one do I want to do? 
This is kind of cool. Let's try it with this. Oh, here's working, hoping it works. Oh, I should have clearly put out more, I guess. I should get my heavy body, special textured um, golden paints out. Let's see if I can open this without moving the stencil. So I'm just popping back in with another voice over here. Uh, it did not work. <laughs> it shifted at some point. I think if I had managed to keep it without shifting, it would have been okay. I'll mention at the end that I should try it with my golden heavy body special uh, iridescent and interference paints, which probably would have worked better. Um, but yeah, this was just a hard week in a string of hard weeks and a string of hard months. And I was just playing and having some fun. Um, I know things are not quite right for me, but I don't really know how to fix things. It's just been... I don't know. And I suppose we all have seasons in our lives where things don't go well or it's one thing after another. And I know it doesn't last forever. Uh, and I know that it will turn around eventually. But it's hard when you're in the middle of one of those to always stay cheerful and bright and know that eventually it's going to stop, especially when you have no idea how much longer you have to go through the hard stuff for. And I am trying my best and hanging in there, but it's become pretty clear to me that I, I do need to downsize. I can't keep going at the way that I'm going. So we're going to start with, like I said, pausing Patreon for September. I really want to actually participate in Arttober this year, and I couldn't because of the sponsored giveaways and everything that I did last year. So I'm hoping that since I'm not doing those, I can participate. I really like the prompt list this, this year, you guys. I'm really excited for it. Okay. Oops, it looks like it shifted. Oh well, hopefully it doesn't look ruined. Mm, not as successful as the thicker paint, so I guess that's good to know. But I think it was also partially because it shifted. The inks are pretty though. I like the inks a lot. Looks kind of like a mess maybe from where you guys are. Maybe I can put some marker around that. I'm going to go clean this. I'll be back. Okay, so this is dry. It kind of looks like a mess on camera. Off camera, it's shimmery and pretty, and I moved the stencil. Uh, I've got this Painter's Ultra Gold, I think. I don't remember, but I'm just going to try that on here and see what I think. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be like the most gold looking gold when it dries. I heard. I haven't really tried it yet. I got it a while back uh, before my surgery because I thought I would be using it in my sketchbooks and that didn't really work out. It's very strong scented. Like those old, it's probably, I wonder if it's oil based. I don't know. It's very strong scented. It smells like a, like a, like an aerosol sealer type. Anyway, I'm popping back in with another voice over here. Uh, this marker was um, very shiny and gold. I'm, I have to do a little more tests, but what I really liked about it was that it didn't have that um, greenish color that a lot of gold markers have. I hate that greenish color, but it, this one didn't have that. Okay, so I was thinking about this that I did last night, yesterday. Um, and I was thinking about Mark making, just ignore this water here, I was working on something else, Mark making and carrying things a step further. And I was thinking, let's keep going. Let's, let's add some, I don't know if I should do colored pencil or pastel pencil. Um, let's just start with some colored pencil and just see where it goes. So... This is all I have, I think, for the Karen Nash luminance. This is my whole set of luminance. Um, so, so for, I mean, some of you guys know that I've been doing um, the illustration class. Um, so I've been thinking about what I like in an illustration. Um, what makes me linger on a page. Uh, what gets me really excited and it usually without a doubt 
um, is texture. And obviously paper is 2D, so you know, the texture is comes from your mark making. And I've been thinking about mark making a lot and what can I do to increase the interest in the background of an illustration. This was not an exercise from the class or anything. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't share that. Um, this is just something I wanted to do. Can you even see where I am? I can zoom in when I'm filming. Or not when I'm filming. I can zoom in when I'm editing, I mean. Um, when I used to do the black and white ink drawings, I used to do a lot of circles. In the background, they usually were like a stand-in for a night sky. Um, but I also, there was something calming and charming to me about a bunch of circles. Um, so I just thought I would... I mean, you can see I did circles here already, too. So, obviously a reoccurring theme. Um... I don't think I've been made, I know I haven't been ma making enough time to play, um, which I think was a large part of why I ended up with art block. I haven't been making enough time to play and um, follow the things that excite me and make me feel excited about art. Um, I think moving forward for my channel, I'm going to have to um, I'm going to have to figure that out because that's not working. I need to find a way, I not find a way, I think I just have to focus more on what I want to draw or paint that day and what material I want to use and less on um, what I think I should be using. There's got to be a way to make videos where I can still, because a large part of the problem is I cannot, I don't have time for my own art because all my time goes to making videos. Um, and, you know, to be fair, a lot of that is my fault uh, because I wanted to grow as fast as I could in the hopes that I would make an income um, and help contribute to our family. And I still need the income, so that hasn't changed. But maybe my priorities have a little. Okay, so for sure I want to at least uh, swatch these this week. So I've <clears throat> got out my set here. I don't know if I spelled it right. There was nothing that I could see. Oh, there it is. Did I spell it right? No. <laughs> Close, but not quite. So, <laughs> anyway, we're going to swatch these this week. So, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so they're all 48. For, this seems like more than 48. I think this has got to be more than 48. Does it say somewhere? I don't know. However many there are, I suppose I could do the math. Hang on. No, I was right. It's the 48 set. Anyway, um, these are really lovely. Uh, the colors are really pretty. I was... You know, I did go to art school for a little while, and one of the one things they drilled into our heads was real artists always mix their colors. And 
it, while it's really good to learn color theory and be able to mix your own colors, I think it actually affected me negatively. I, I have never bought um, convenience colors and paint like in my entire life. Just in this last summer, this is summer of 2024, have I bought some convenience colors and things. Uh, and I think it started with these um, Holbein gouache I got in my illustration art haul. I think it's already up. If it is, I will link it down below so you can check it out. Um, and I feel like, yes, it's super important to know how to mix paints, but why, why after all these years do I feel so afraid to buy a convenience color or a color I really like or that I know I'm going to use a lot and don't want to mix up repeatedly? I don't know. All I know is these are beautiful colors and some of them are the convenience colors. I really want to do a big project with this. I don't know if it's going to happen this week, but... I would like to do a big project with this very much. Um, so there are my thoughts on the colors. Uh, I like the big pans. I like how they're somewhat opaque. Uh, I would like to use them in a big piece before I give my final thoughts on it. All right, now it's on to the next thing. Okay, so here I am, even though everything's still messy, filming the outro in case I forget. <laughs> I really hope I got stuff done this week. I hope I kept up with my illustration class. Uh, hopefully I was just on here talking about illustration class. <laughs> um, and I hope I have everything looking nice. Maybe I can refilm this if I remember. <laughs> anyway, thank you for being here with me today. I hope you had a lot of fun. Uh, if you haven't hit the like or comment or subscribe yet, I'm so close to 10,000. Uh, please feel free to do so. It helps support my channel and helps me continue to make free, helps me continue to make, helps me be able to continue to make free videos for you guys like this one. Um, and also if you want to do a little bit more, you can always head on over to my Patreon. We have a lot of fun over there. The link for Patreon will be down below and until next time, happy creating. Mm -hmm.